Okay, so if you're like me, your work life revolves around Windows, and your personal life revolves around Apple. The question is, how do you make both work and create the ultimate productivity system? This video is gonna help you bridge the gap between those different ecosystems and introduce workflows that should help actually make things faster. We're gonna talk about the devices, we're gonna talk about the tools, and most importantly, we're gonna talk about the applications because without them, this doesn't work. So I'm gonna break down this hybrid ecosystem for the role that each of them plays in my setup. Each device plays a key role in this system. Windows laptop, this is your primary device for working in the office suite of apps, emailing and accessing your company drives. The iPad, this is a companion device that plays the role of organizer, note taking and your creative tool with your iPad as a companion. You'll have your notes and to-do list with you wherever you go, saved in the cloud on any device. I do actually have app recommendations that work perfectly on both Windows devices and Apple, but more on that in a minute. And then finally, the iPhone. The iPhone is a hybrid device in this system that is used for emails on the run, your calendars, and responding to instant messengers. So I can pick up the presentation that I was working on my HP laptop, my colleague is editing it, and I can see those edits on my iPhone while I'm waiting for a coffee. Mine's a flat white, by the way, or a subscribe, whichever one you find easier. Okay, so we're gonna start with my favorite, that is organization. So I use my iPad for all note taking with Apple Notes slash Notability for personal use and OneNote for work. Notes sync between my iPad and my desktop, making it easy to reference while creating presentations. So OneNote is the application that you'll want to use if you want to create notes on your iPad, but access them on your Windows device. I used to create all my presentations on an A3 piece of paper first and then try and recreate those slides in PowerPoint. This is a much nicer, more seamless way to do it all within OneNote. Trello or Todoist are excellent for managing other tasks in bullet form and on or in a Kanban board form. And there's a video on how those work in the link above and in the description. Now these are available on all devices, so they can be accessed either through the web app or through the dedicated apps on your handheld devices. So perfect for organizing wherever you are on any device. So your files, I'm hoping, are now saved on a OneDrive. They're not saved on your desktop. Come on, get over that. And you're gonna to wanna to access those files quickly. Well, luckily we work in the future where the cloud exists. So in this example of OneDrive, you're part of the Office 365 suite. That's great. Or let's say your business is operating on Google Workplace. Again, all lives in the cloud, all accessible via a multi-factor authenticator to access on any device that you wish to load up that application or access into the web tool. You have your files wherever you go. It does mean that you need to be strict and save those files in that cloud instance and nowhere else, nowhere physical, but you'll have them wherever you go. A massive improvement in productivity is yours if that's what you're up to problem. Your work calendar is in Outlook. Your personal calendar is in iCal. What do you do? Well, the solution is that you can either sync these calendars together through, say, uh, you can actually do it through your iCloud, or you could do it through a, another third party like Google Calendar, which is actually a really great gateway. But some businesses don't allow you to do that. And actually a hack that you can do is create a widget on your phone side by side. This is an example of how I've done it here of your personal calendar right next door to your Outlook calendar. It isn't perfectly synced, but at a glance on your phone, you're able to see where you're at, what time of day, you shouldn't miss anything. It's a simple hack that doesn't break any privacy for your business at all. Okay, so you're probably already well aware of the Microsoft Teams system and that can be downloaded onto any device. I like to have Microsoft Teams loaded up next to me while I work on my iPad so I can manage all of my communications on there and not be distracted while I'm working on my main screen. It means I can never leave that flow state of work, which is perfect, and I can take calls on any device whenever I need to. So again, the perfect combination of all of those things coming together. So we're not gonna to spend too long on the tools. It doesn't really deserve its own section because really there's only one tool that I recommend and that is getting yourself an Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil turns your iPad into the ultimate note-taking tool that can allow you, as I said, on OneNote to have your notes wherever you go on any device or if you just want to play around on Apple Notes, you've got that too. It's great. Couldn't recommend it more highly. Okay, so by way of a simple summary, this is it. 
One, use cross-platform tools like the Microsoft Suite, Google Drive, or Trello. Two, consolidate workflow where possible. Pick one calendar solution, one note-taking solution, and one storage solution that you can rely on. And three, in my mind, is the most important thing. Don't worry about taking notes on your iPad and looking not very cool. I know it's quite common for students to do, but it's not very common for professionals to do. But don't worry, everyone laughing at you is just jealous your tech prowess, or at least that's what I tell myself. So work might force you into Windows, but you don't have to sacrifice your personal love of Apple products at home. You can have the best of both worlds. Follow this structure and you'll be able to take advantage of all the benefits of all the other systems. So what is your biggest challenge? Are you finding it a difficulty balancing the tech that you get in your work life with the tech that you want in your personal life? Have you found a better system than above? I would love to know and so would everybody else. Please drop a comment. And remember, if you've stuck around this long and you like this video, please consider a subscribe. We would love to see you. And team, that's it. We'll see you next time on Future Simplified. We've got a number of videos here on productivity that you may be interested in. If not, see you soon.